Um, so so let's move to the second part of this thing, uh, which is you know who 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 gets to blame on all this stuff, right? Who who is the, who is the 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 uh, the big bad that everybody puts the blame on, which is Hamas. Uh, that's that's always what it's about, right? It's always about well, Hamas is a is a terror organization, and they're uh, they're they they've got fucking. Uh, they've got fucking human shields and they're firing these rockets and they're evil. And I heard one time Hamas, all of them kicked a puppy. That's what I heard. I have no proof to back that up, but I heard it. And uh, and I think maybe Rachel Maddow retweeted it one time. So it's got to be it's got to be true. It's got to be true. So what Hamas actually is, uh, and um, if I'm mispronouncing her name, I very much apologize. Uh, Ariel Gold uh, from Code Pink talks about this on uh, on an interview with Lee Camp. And she points out that Hamas is the like legally elected government of Gaza. Like that's that's their legally elected government. So them fi fighting a war against fucking um against Hamas is like it's a political war you're fighting against a political party that like won and rules the you know is the governing body in that area and you don't have to like it right like Ariel Gold constantly says like I don't like Hamas I'm not a fan of what they do they're not great but they are the they are the you know the government of that land and you have to recognize them but they don't and this is another way that they kind of uh dehumanize palestinians is they say well they're governed by a terrorist organization they're not governed by a legitimate government right and, and all you have to do is fucking recognize it you don't have to agree with it look i don't like the united states government i don't like joe biden kamal harris anthony blinken fucking uh Neera tandon i don't like any of these fucking people but they're part of this fucking government and i recognize that that is the government that rules here i don't like it Hence why I dissent against them. Hence why when I go up, I fucking make fun of these assholes. So you don't have to agree with a government to say, yes, you're still like a, a fucking government body and we're going to treat you as such. You know, if, if think about it this way. America has what eight wars going on right now and they're trying to start 12 more. Um, if because of that we said, well, the American government is not the American government. They're they're a, a bald eagle flying terrorist organization. What would America do? They'd probably get pissed and maybe bomb that country. But you know, what you're you're taking your, somebody's identity away from them. Of course, they're going to feel like shit. Of course, they're going to feel hurt, angry. You're basically saying that they're not legitimate people. How the fuck do you think they're supposed to feel? But again, this is something that uh, is used as a justification for them to do whatever the fuck they want to the Palestinian people because, oh, they, they might be Hamas or, or they might be Hamas adjacent or they might know a guy who knows a guy who's a cousin of a drug dealer who at one point high five somebody accidentally and the a person they high five was Hamas. So that's, I mean... Four degrees of Kevin Bacon to Hamas right there, baby. We got to get him. You never know. You never know when some one of these sons of bitches is going to be high-fiving the Hamas. You just never know. So it's best if you just blanket fire a bunch of rockets. We'll warn them. We'll give them a warning. And then we'll just fucking parking lot that shit. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, that was That was a big conservative favorite. Um, in, in 0203, I used to hear that a lot with, uh, from conservative parents of my friends, they should turn, uh, they should turn a rock into a parking lot made out of glass. Yeah. That's kind of the same, same thought process here. Um, basically what this says is by, by not recognizing Hamas as the legitimate government in the area, whether or not you agree with them or not is not the point here. Uh, it basically says the United States has carte blanche on saying what is and isn't a government, right? I mean, it, it, the most blatant example that we've seen over the last couple of years is what they're doing in Venezuela. 
they're saying that Nicolas Maduro, who was legally elected in an election system that is far better, has way more integrity and way more transparency than American elections, you know, the people that, quote, invented democracy. Uh, yeah, that government is led by an illegitimate fucking leader. And they just said a guy's name. They were like, Juan Guaido, this guy, he'll he he's the leader. And everybody's like, uh, the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, this fucking guy, huh? With the weird smile. Here's a photo of him mooning a bunch of protesters. Huh? Look at that. That's the butt of the people right there. That is the chocolate starfish of the of, of the masses. I'm so sorry everybody now has to envision Guan Guaido's butt. Uh that that is that is my bad. I'm sorry that you guys have to go through that. Um but that's how they that's that's how they kind of recognize it, right? They they just make up something and they're like, oh, this guy's more legitimate than the actual legitimate fucking leader of a country, which is insane. So again, you know, you don't have to agree with Hamas, but you have to recognize that that is that is a governing body in that region. It's the same thing, like in Afghanistan in Afghanistan, like the Taliban is a governing body in that region. And weirdly enough, America, I think, recognizes that more than they recognize Hamas. But but it's cherry picking. Go figure. The Christian nation cherry picks the Bible and it also cherry picks its governing bodies. Go fucking figure them, you know. What's the other shit that we hear all the time is, uh, well, Israel has the right to defend itself. OK, it's got the right to defend a Second Amendment, baby. Sure, Israel's not in America, but maybe you don't know. Maybe the earth is maybe the earth is flat in order for me to justify that Israel can defend itself. I'll go. I'll, I'll make a leap to that. It's like, OK, that's fine. Totally fine. Uh, if you know, nobody says that Israel doesn't have the right to defend itself. But what about Palestinians? There was that fucking. Um, th there's a journalist that asked a question to somebody from from the State Department. And they basically asked that question of like, hey, don't you think Palestinians have the right to defend themselves? Considering like their apartment buildings are being bombed. You're killing journalists. You're killing kids. Like there's sniper fire on children. Don't you think they have the right to defend themselves? And what they're defending themselves with is rubber bullets and rocks. And you have U.S. weaponry, precision targeting missiles, sniper rifles, a trained military force. Like you don't think. And the guy was like, I don't, you know, you're asking a lot of, it's complicated because you're talking about, you're, let's define the word defense, okay? When it comes to defense, okay, let's, let's break the, you got the, you got the D, right? But that's, and that's like, that's like not like, like a not, it's like not, you know, but then there's like a fence, which is what we put around uh, Gaza. So it's like, Israel's allowed to not be a offense, and when they're forced into being offense, they have to kill children. Look, this is complicated. Like they, he just kind of had like a meltdown because he didn't know how to like politically answer the fucking question, right? So again, it's a bullshit argument. Does Israel have the right to defend itself? Of course it does. Of course it does. But Israel is the aggressor in the situation. Right. That's that. That is the, the conclusion in all this, that Israel is the fucking aggressor in this situation. They have uh, Palestine has very little land. They don't have that much sophisticated weaponry. They're not being backed by the largest military in the fucking planet. And they're in incredibly densely populated. So anytime there's rocket fire, guess what happens? There's going to be a shit ton of collateral damage. There's going to be a bunch of people that are going to get killed, whether you intended it or not. And then they go, whoopsie, well, Hamas uses fucking human shields. And that's a major excuse that they use. Well, they're building their their bases next to schools and hospitals. They're using human shields. That's weird. Usually uh, when I've, uh, you know, seen cinemas and uh, and comics and all that, uh, when when the bad guy uses a human shield, um, usually the good guy, the moral character, uh, d uh, doesn't kill the human shield 
to kill the bad guy. Usually it's like, all right, let's figure this out. How about we trade? You can have me let the human shield go. You know, there's, there's usually some sort of a negotiation that happens, right? I've never seen like Lex Luthor use Lois Lane as a human shield and Superman's like, whatever, I'll punch through her heart to get to your heart because I don't, because that collateral damage, she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have gotten caught. <laughs> That's never a fucking thing. Good guys don't kill human shields just because they're there. Well, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe don't fucking blow up a school. It's not that hard. Look at me. I'm not blowing up a school right now. Look how easy it is. <laughs> it's literally just this easy. It's literally as easy as just don't fucking blow up a school. <laughs> That's it. Holy shit. It's not that fucking hard. Like, justifying it, it just makes you a fucking psychopath, doesn't it? Like, that's really all it does. It's like, oh, well, we couldn't help it. We had to get Hamas. Maybe don't today. You think you could wait a little bit? Maybe you don't need to fucking blow up Hamas. Ugh. So I know this. The uh, I actually literally just saw a tweet um, with an article that uh, that's. Uh, I know this. The weapon sales has been delayed, uh, and and really the weapon sales are being delayed to Israel. There there was a seven hundred and fifty uh, seven hundred thirty five million dollar weapons contract a few days before the bombing that was signed. Uh, seven hundred thirty five million dollars worth of weapons that were going to be sold to Israel. Some of them being precision missiles, right? Because that counters. Uh, the argument of them just firing fucking bombs into uh, into Gaza and stuff. Uh, that oh, if it's precision, then we won't kill as many kids. You know, we'll we'll kill the bad guys. We'll kill a couple kids because you know, I mean, they're there. What do you want me to not kill a kid when they're? It's just crazy. I'll I'll kill like instead of sixty one. How about I kill fifteen? Is that okay? What if they're the next Hitler? You never know. Maybe I'm get. Maybe Israel's getting rid of the next. Come on, you got to think. Let we'll just maybe just a couple. Just because we're already here, um, but I guess I guess that weapon sales is now delayed, which is great. But that's it's only been delayed because public opinion has been swayed, right? There's protests and marches everywhere, standing in solidarity with fucking Palestine, because everybody realized how terrible Israel is right now. <laughs> but think about it this way, right? It is is. You know, I, this is the sort of thing that I, I say to conservative friends that talk about this shit. I go, okay, $735 million. Hey, how many social services programs could we have funded with that? You think a lot? You think we could have gotten health care? You think that we could have increased the, the stimulus money a little bit? Funded some food programs maybe? education for example or how about this um since you sold the weapons that blew up a bunch of people's homes how about you go and rebuild those homes 735 million dollars can probably put up a, a lot of concrete and maybe if you're spending that much money rebuilding the shit that you broke you won't fucking break it again that was always ah, that always worked on me when i was a kid i would fucking break a toy or some shit and then my mom uh would make me fix it and it wouldn't work properly. And then the lesson was, uh, don't break your toys. And, um, okay, I sometimes would still break my toys. But I would do it less. I would do it less. I think that should be, that should be part of the Geneva Conventions. Is, uh, is if you, if you blow up a country, you have to rebuild it. I bet we'd fight less wars if that was part of the Geneva Conventions. But now they got precision bombs. That's what they're. That's what they're selling. Now that the weapons, I wonder, if, like the weapon sales being disrupted is, um, <laughs> it's gonna, it's, it's gonna. There, there's gonna be a justification that you hear from one of these fucking warmongers, like Lloyd Austin or Anthony Blinken or or Joe Biden or. Uh, Liz Cheney or anybody in Congress, uh, really. There's maybe like three people that were anti-war in Congress. Uh, <laughs> you know, like they'll come out and be like, well, you wanted us to stop killing kids and we had a way to do it. It was only going to cost $735 million. 
and uh, and now we can't. Now we're just going to have to massacre children. Are you happy? Are you happy? This is why we need arm sales. Like, that's, they're going to use this as, like, some fucking mental gymnastics backward reasons to be like, oh, we need we, we need the weapons industry to go save uh, fucking Palestinian kids. Like, yeah, that's exactly what we were saying. That's We weren't saying stop doing it and maybe fucking rethink this whole situation. Uh, but, no, it was... Make more precise explosives because explosions, very precise. They take up a very small amount of space. Fucking idiots. All right. Uh, gonna, I'm going to look at some of your comments. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Cynic says, Hamas stole my homework. Damn, Hamas. Damn it. We all have to learn trigonometry at some point, you son of a bitch. <laughs> It'd be like dropping bombs in the G in GOP. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> uh, Holly says, Samira Tantrum, the new Biden ad uh, advisor, no confirmation needed. Yeah, I know. I'm not, I'm not fucking happy about that either. But when I saw that, it was just... Uh, Hamas co commandeers in apartment buildings. <laughs> I, I it's just, again it's just one of those things is like okay so what do you what are you going to do that this legal fucking government is in an apartment building and a lot of them i think uh think the reason why they blow up the apartment buildings Abby Martin was talking about like they're kind of attacking like Hamas leaders like so government leaders so these are like political assassinations they're claiming are terrorist organizations um so that's so, so that's the justification behind blowing up a fucking uh apartment building no warnings or claims to the to, to, to claims to the contrary. So there were no warnings. They're they're claiming that they got an hour warning, the or or a fifteen minute warning to evacuate. So <laughs> uh, Miguel says all these conflicts represent religion so well, <laughs> right? Because that's what the that's what all these religions say. They're like, hey, you know what would be cool uh, is if you guys got along, but just with more bloodshed. Can you guys make that work? Can you guys hang out with each other, but like with more bloodshed? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Cynic says uh, their shit's their shit's been reduced to rubble. Then they drop bombs on them, throwing rocks. Right, uh, and most of their rockets are intercepted by one of the most advanced uh, defense systems of the goddamn planet. Yeah, that's the other part of it too. Is just the the they have anti rocket defense systems. So like. How many how many fucking Israeli kids do you hear getting killed compared to Palestinian kids, right? How many Israelis are getting killed on a daily basis? How many Israelis have to live with four hours of electricity? How many Israeli people are living with no internet? How many Israeli people are are hunting for clean water? <laughs> Six is uh, delayed till you know next Tuesday or whenever it stops trending or whichever comes first. I think they're just gonna wait till this dies down. They're gonna wait till the story disappears. Something else crazy will happen, and they'll be like, "Okay, now is the time. Let's just fucking sneak it under the." I I, I said this back in January. This is you're really gonna have to pay attention to the details of this administration because this administration is gonna get us on technicalities and backdoor deals. There's going to be the two things where they fucking get it on. And they're delaying this so that the heat's off of them a little bit. So the so the pressure needs to continue. Again, the only reason why this arms deal isn't going is because popular opinion has changed. It's because people are taken to the streets. It's because today Palestinians are on a fucking general strike. That's why it's happening. <laughs> Miguel says, I would do it less. Yeah, well, I was also like seven. Uh Cynic says, don't break your toys. Also, you owe me 40 bucks. That's kind of the way my mom uh would uh would 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 justify that. Uh dinner with Frank says, I don't want to uh blow my own horn here, but uh not only am I not blowing up schools right now, I'm not blowing up a hospital too. Oh, brag about it, dinner with Franklin. Oh, bragging. Look at this guy not blowing up multiple buildings, just sitting there like a person enjoying a, enjoying a, a, a program of a brown man yelling into a microphone Ooh, <laughs> it's literally that easy to to not murder innocent civilians it's literally it's literally as easy as just don't do it <laughs> that's how easy it is 
Uh, <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people-powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.